everyone, a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So, guys, in our previous session, we have covered what is data visualization and what is Seaborn. Today, we will be starting our journey with the Seaborn, and we will be learning about how we can plot line plot inside Seaborn. So, to plot line plot inside Seaborn, uh, first of all, we need to install Seaborn. To install Seaborn, we will be going to our command prompt. So, over here, I'll be opening CMD. In command prompt, you can write pip install Seaborn. Once I'll press enter, it will install it for me. For me, installation has been done already. In your case, you can uh, see the installation process. Like once you press enter, it will be installed for you. For me, it says requirement already satisfied because I already have Seaborn. Now, as we were talking about line plot, first of all, let's also have a look on how line plot looks like inside Seaborn. And after that, we will be creating our line plot. So this is how a line plot looks like that here, there will be different line representing the different axes over here. That here we have X axis, here we have Y axis. We can over here see that what is the density, what uh, where the data is fluctuating, where the data is on peak and where the data is at low. Okay, so um, this is our line plot. Now, now how to create it is very simple. Let's have a look on how it can be done. For creating a line plot, first of all, we will import all the libraries. So I'll be importing import Seaborn as SNS. We'll be creating an alias for Seaborn. Usually SNS is used, so I'll be using SNS. You can create any alias for that. And also because it is based on matplotlib and we can use some functions of matplotlib here. So we will be importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt. After this, we will be importing pandas. As PD. Once we have imported all the libraries over here, we will start working. Now, first of all, I need a data in X. So, I'll be creating X data. X is equal to, so I'll be adding a list over here. Let's say I have a data of 7 days. And in Y, I have the number of customers that are coming to the grocery store. So, I'll be writing 20, 40, 30. I'm ri randomly writing any numbers over here. So, I'll be just writing some random 7 numbers. Once I am done, after that I will be creating a data set over here. That means we will be first of all creating data frame over here using pandas. So to create data frame over here, we will be writing df is equals to pd dot data frame. And over here I will be giving this x axis as days and y axis as number of people. So I will be creating a dictionary over here where days is representing x comma and number of people is being represented by y. Once we are done with this, we can uh, view the data. So for viewing the data, we will be writing pd dot or we can write the data frame df dot head and up to seven data I need it. So as soon as I run it, I will just get the data over here. So these are my number of days that is seven and number of people that I have. Okay. Now what do I need to do? I need to create a line plot over here. To create a line plot in Seaborn, we, we have a very simple method. All we need to do is write sns dot line plot. And here we will be passing x is equals to days and our y is equals to number of people. So I'll just copy this from here and paste it here. And one more thing we need to provide that where is this data coming from. So it is coming from our data frame. So we will be writing data is equals to df. Okay, the data is coming from our data frame. Now let's write plt dot show. And as soon as I run it, I get the output in this way that on the x-axis we have days, on the y-axis we have number of people. So on number 1 the value starts from 20, on number 2 it goes to 40, then it goes to 30 on number 3. On number 4 there are 40 people, on number 5 again there are 30 people, on number 6 that means on Saturday we have 50 people and on Sunday we have 30 people again. So here we can analyze the data and we can see over here that there are three days in a week on which 30 people are uh, coming to the grocery store and on Saturday a lot of people are coming on Sunday comparatively less people are coming so more people are supposed to be coming on a uh, weekend so on our weekend we have more people so in this way we can analyze the data. Now this is one way in which we have created a data frame and we have used it. The another way over here is to load a data set. To load a data set all we need to do is write sns dot load underscore data set so we will be loading a data set from the internet now from where this data set is going to come a lot of repositories are there on web so you can just search for it i have searched for uh, one which is in github and this is how it looks like so we have different data frames so we have different data sets over here you can go for any data set so I'm, i'll be going for the tips one so tips.csv, you don't have to write tips.csv in the brackets, you can just pass tips over here. And if you write, so I'll be giving it a variable called as uh, df, that df is equals to sns.load dataset. And I'll be writing df.head. 
open close the parentheses and if i run it i'll be getting the data in this way that i have the first five data of that data set which has index over here the total bill the tip that our people are paying it's based uh, on gender that based on gender what people are paying so the first person who paid a bill of 16.99 dollars has paid a tip of 1.1 is a female is not a smoker and she came on sunday and the time it was not lunch but dinner the size two means over here that how many total people came okay so what do i need to do over here is i need to create a line plot to create a line plot i'll be writing sns dot line plot and here i'll be passing the data of x so x is equals to let's say the number of days will be the x so day is equals to x and i'll be passing it inside the quotations and our y would be the bill uh, the tip they are paying so y is equals to let's run and see what output we will get also the data where the data is coming from so we need to write the data is equals to df that it is coming from data frame and if i run it i would get a data like this and if you want to add some creativity to it suppose the tip doesn't looks much good to me uh, let's go for the total bill so, so we'll be putting a total bill over here let's see if we have some variations in our line plot so yeah some variations are there now okay now what do i want to uh, do is i want to first write plt dot show over here and if i run it i'll get the data in this way after this what do i need to do i need to add some you know graphics to it like uh, some good visualizations to it so for that again i'll be adding something like hue hue is equals to my hue will be based on that means uh, that means the number of lines i want over here so with that would be based on my gender so for gender we will be writing sex and as soon as i run it i'll get the data in this way that in the orange is showing us female over here and the blue line is showing the number of males over here okay based on males and females we are analyzing the data that on these days the total number of bill is paid this much the orange line is indicating that it has been paid by a female and the blue line is indicating that it is paid by a male just like you we have style that what style of line we want so we can write style is equals to so let's say my style would be based on something that has two in number so we can go with time so time so either it could be lunch or dinner so here oh, so here blue line is indicating that there are males orange line is indicating there are females the lunch time has been indicated by the solid line and the dinner time has been indicated by the dotted line that mean dashed line so this is how you can create line styles as well similarly if you want to give it colorful you want to make it colorful if you want to make it colorful you have a very simple method called as palette that means you can write a palette over here for palette now where these colors will come from if you write a and y that means any inside it and run it it will throw you an error and because it will throw you an error inside the error it will give you all the colors that could come over here so we have a list of all the colors you can choose any color from here so let's say i want to try flare so i'll just copy it from here and i'll just write it down when i paste it and i run it i'll get the data in this way that i will get male uh, in peach color the female in uh, somewhere like violetish color and for lunch we have the solid lines and for the dinner we have the dotted lines similarly by using the location method you can also change the location of the legend you can give it number of rows and columns just like how we have done it in our matplotlib so i don't think we, i need to repeat it again we have already covered that part that how we can change the location of the legends So I hope guys that the line plot over here is clear to you that how you can plot a line plot using first of all a data frame that you have created by a pandas or you can also load a data set from the web and you can plot a plot using those data set so it would be very useful for you if you use these data sets because they have lots of information and it will also help you to practice it more so i hope you guys have no doubts and no questions so in the next session we will be starting with a bar plot so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you